So today I'm gonna make my sausage creamed collard greens. Oh. Sausage creamed collard greens? You gotta have some meat, you know? Ooh. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, we already talked about the beautiful collard leaf. How do you strip it? And the reason you wanna strip it is because this rib is very toothsome and crunchy. Um, but I like to say in my family, we cook collards till they're dead. Yeah. So a lot of times I would just flub growing up and I'd leave that rib in. The longer you cook it, the more tender and uh, flavorful it is and juicy and all that good stuff. Soaks up all the flavor from your pot. So just kind of take it, fold it in half, and then just go up the rib. And when it stops ripping, that little tiny thin piece of the rib can come along with it at the very tip right there. Mm -hmm. And then I fold it over and I roll these up. I always tell people the way you know I'm not a chef is I don't make, I don't chiffonade, I make thin strips. So just go along that roll there and make thin strips and put it in our big old bowl here, getting ready to blanch. Now, I've got a pot, boiling water. We're gonna blanch these before we braise and cook them just to get a nice bright color out of them. Plus, they are so tough, it's nice to kind of do a quick tender for them. So into the salted water. You know the rule about this is, is just right when you see them going light, bright green, you might have to do this in batches. And this happens really, really fast. You're gonna pull it out, get it into some ice water to stop the cooking and keep that bright, vibrant color. You can kind of see the difference between blanch and not blanch. And then transfer it to a tray with a little bit of paper towel in there. All right, so in the pot right here in our Dutch oven, because we were hanging out with a Dutch oven today, I've got some Italian hot sausage, Ooh. right? I there went we in go. and I added some red onion and then garlic as well. Just cook it down, break it down to a nice little, kind of like, think about getting it on your spoon or your fork size. Do you know what I mean? You took it out of the casing? Uh, took it out of the casing, okay, yeah. Yes. In my bowl here, this is gonna be the flavor base. This is some sour cream. Gonna add some heavy cream. Ooh, ooh, boy. Man. It's creamed, you know? A little bit of flour. Some allspice, which is not actually many spices, just one. <laughs> and know. I'm gonna whisk the up. It's one of those names that just continues. Such a liar. Yeah. So the last ingredient I wanna add here is something I wanna talk about. I love going down the international aisle um, and adding something new. And harissa paste or sauce you can now get in the spice aisle mm -hmm. or in the international aisle. It's mild or spicy depending on the brand. You just kinda of have to play it out. But that's, that's, look at that color on that, you I love that. You can smell how spicy so this is. So, you know, it's just really to taste, but I give an amount in the recipe. Right into the pot. I'm gonna actually turn this down when I add it, because it's kinda going at a high speed right now. Just gonna add this in. Now you're thinking, what? Yeah, I kinda am. That's okay. I said a normal cream spinach or anything creamed has uh, a flour base, like a roux base. Yeah, yeah you need bechamel. to start with that. I'm, but this I am a fan nice. of not making a bechamel, yeah. but making the bechamel happen, either yeah. in the oven or in the pot, you know, instead of sitting what and you're waiting. Doing. And this is just gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes. Now, the good thing about this is we were talking about collars is how like they can cook forever and still have that integrity of being fresh and have that crunch. That's what I love about this. So, just about 25 to 30 minutes later, and here you go over oh. here. It's done, almost. Ooh, a little pop of freshness. Yeah, I like to go in and just add in some tomatoes at the very end, some cherry tomatoes, wow. and that's it. Just some hot Italian sausage. Whoa, Take your collards, good. cook them down with some sour cream, some heavy cream. Listen, yeah. inexpensive and feeds yeah. a crowd. Wow. There you have it. Nice. Wow. wow. I'm, I'm out of the water. Jeff, you gonna give this a go? Thank you, Jeff. Let me know what you think. Got my collard fork here. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Yeah. So I can good. Just have that for dinner. I mean, it's perfect with you chicken, can. pork chops, fish. Oh man.